we are back with our final take and make of January, which has been our pet month. And what are we doing? Oh my God, it is the cutest craft ever. We are making bows for your doggos and your kitty cats. Oh my God, they're adorable. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna make these and then you can either slip a ponytail in the back and you can hook them around their collar or if you have some extra clips hanging around at home, you can actually glue the clip, glue it onto a clip and put in your long haired pooch or feline's hair. Oh my God, they're gonna be adorable. Okay guys, we are ready to make. So we are gonna make something that looks like this out of this. All right, you're gonna stop by the library. You're gonna pick up your craft kit and it'll come in different um, colors and patterns. You're gonna wanna stipulate we've got the cat size. We've got the dog size. This is about a, like a regular medium sized dog. And then we've got the larger dog size. So when you come to pick up your kit, make sure you let us know what size of animal you're gonna be making your craft for. So I have a hot glue gun out, but we're just gonna save that for the very last step. So let's get going. You've got two pieces of material, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working with our smaller piece first. We're gonna lay it upside down and we are gonna fold it kind of in three so that this side will meet this side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our glue and we're gonna run our glue along this edge, okay? And once we've got our glue on this edge, can you see it? I tried using purple glue so that you could see a little better. We're gonna take this other edge and we are going to flip it over and press it, okay? Flipped and pressed, see? There's side one, edges are glued, and then we're gonna set it aside. That was the easy bit. All right, on to the next one. So the next one, we're gonna repeat that same step that we did with the first piece. We're gonna lay our material with the pattern side down. And then we're gonna figure out where our middle is gonna be, okay? So we'll keep this one side down, and we will take our glue from our glue stick and don't worry about the purple because we all know that purple glue fades, right? So we're gonna put our purple glue on there. I know you can see that now and we're gonna fold this edge over. We're gonna try and get our lines to meet up nicely and we are going to press, press, press. Press that glue in. Okay, so we've got another tube, right? Okay, so on to the next step. We are going to take these two ends and we're gonna fold it lengthwise, okay? So here we go, this is what our fold will look like. The first thing you wanna do is you're gonna pick a side and you want to open it up a little bit, put some glue inside of it so that you can seal that side closed, okay? It's sealed closed and we've still got one other open side. You can do this on both sides if you like to, but. I don't think it's really, you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, so we're gonna take the open side and we're gonna fold it to the middle. And we're gonna take the other, or, other open side and we're gonna fold it, kind of figure out where our middle is again, right? So let's take our glue and let's get it on there. If you can see that. And we are going to fold this over. So there we go. We've kind of got this like bracelet looking thing going on. Alrighty, so now comes the folding. I like to fold in to the middle and then flip it over and then fold into the middle because what it's going to do is once you keep them all pinched, it's gonna give us that cute little bow look that we like. All right, so from there, we are going to need our little piece, right? It's time for our little piece again. So we will press this down on the table. Put some glue right in the middle. Make sure you find your middle spot. And we are going to put our middle piece in. We're gonna press that. Keep everything held and then we're going to flip it over and then again we want to put a little bit of glue on that metal spot and flip it over okay and we're going to repeat that step until your piece 
in the middle has been fed into itself and it kind of just disappears. All right, this looks like we're got to our end here. And bold. Okay, so what do we have? Let's fluff it up here a little bit. We have an adorable little bow, right? Okay, so here comes the last step. The last step, it's kind of important that we use our um, glue gun for this step just because if we don't, you'll find that these edges of your bow will actually come off. So we're gonna carefully take our glue gun and just get a little dollop of glue in there. Now I use a low heat glue gun just because I find it is safer. There's less chances that we have to worry about burning ourselves. Um, in our last craft, I sent you home with a popsicle stick. So maybe I'll do that too, just so that you've got something to use to press down your edges without having to worry about burning your fingers. Okay, so here we have our cute little bow. Like how quick and easy was that? So now you're going, how am I going to get this bow onto a collar? Well, I will show you. It's as simple as a paper clip. You see, I've got a paper clip that I just opened once. So it was folded in, but I've opened it so I've got two hook ends. And then I'm going to take my elastic. Now, this is a rubber elastic. I suggest you use like a ponytail elastic just because they are fabric coated and they seem to last a little bit longer. And you're gonna pick whatever side you want to be the back and see where our loop is here. We didn't put any glue on this side or on this side. So that means that we should be able to take our paper clip and feed it right through the middle here and we're gonna pull. And once we pull, we are going to unhook our paper clip. So now we have this elastic inside of our ponytail. So we will just fold it like this. And all you've got to do now is just take your pet's collar off and slide it through these two little loops. See, this is the collar. It'll be slid in like this. And then you put your collar back on your furry friend and you have a bow for the collar. How cute is that? Now, if you don't want to put it on your collar, like I said, you can use some hot glue and you can just take an old hair clip that you have hanging around, put some hot glue on this part and then just glue your clip on. And then once everything is dry and you know it's dry because we don't want glue in our pet's hair, you can stick it on their ears, stick it in their hair, make them look adorable. If you make these and you love them, send me pics. I wanna see your cute little fluffy buddies, okay? Hope you enjoyed the craft.